turkey farming has taken Charlene Wittenberg many places over the years, including to the White House. Charlene's husband, Carl Wittenberg, served as National Turkey Federation president, earning the family the honor of raising and then presenting turkeys to the White House just prior to Thanksgiving in 2017. But the family's connection to turkey production began decades prior. Charlene's father, Glenn Janicki, raised turkeys near Roseau, Minnesota for four decades. His father began raising 100 turkeys in 1957. By 1968, Glenn had bought out his father and was raising about 100,000 birds a year on the range. Instead of putting them in sheds like they do today, grow out, these were outside turkeys. And at that time, I suppose 95% of the turkeys in Minnesota were raised that way. It was tough. It was a tough way to raise turkeys. You know, it's from the, you'd be constantly from animals to weather to your uh, sickness, because you were to the elements of the weather, and you know what I mean, you brought on more things. Ranged turkeys gave way to birds raised in more controlled conditions for efficiency and protection. Janicki says better feed and better genetics help turkey production grow. It is because of the genetics of the birds and and the feed and what you feed them and how you feed them and different rations. And I think it's more on the genetic, uh, genetics of the bird because, you know, we were all bronze turkeys at that time. Wittenberg has early memories of raising turkeys, some more fond than others. Some of the earlier memories was... Um, the jobs I hated <laughs> so on the farm. I guess that's what you can always go back to, what you didn't like to do. Because we did range everything. I remember it took us days. We, um, Dad would hand vaccinate the birds, and it would take us days to get them out of the barn to go to range because it was a long process. Wittenberg left for college but returned to help the family business. Uh, after college or during college, Dad bought um, a, a, another farm. And that was, was the start of my path because I started running that one for him. Um, uh, as soon as I got out of school, we'd place babies in that farm and then get them right up to market, and then I'd have to go back to school. So that was the start of it. And then from there, I married a turkey grower, <laughs> and from there, we just kind of continued on with turkeys. In 1988, a turkey processing plant in Thief River Falls was likely to be sold and closed leaving independent growers in that region in a predicament. Janicki worked with dozens of other growers to buy the plant in 1989, forming Northern Pride Incorporated. I put a group together of all independent growers. We bought the plant. And from 89 till present now, we've been running out for 30 years as Northern Pride. It's still going today. Janicki served as chairman of the Northern Pride Board of Directors for nearly 30 years. Daughter Charlene is now on the board of directors. She's learned a lot from watching her father. Responsibility, always. Uh, checking, checking, make sure you double check. You know, you always had to be responsible for checking the birds. That was a big one, responsibility. Um, I think another thing was um, if things weren't going right, look at it a different way and maybe you can figure out how to do it. Don't just say you can't do it. You can do it. Throughout the family farm's history, the Minnesota Turkey Growers Association has been a vital resource. And I think we're going to keep changing faster. And we need to be able to have somebody help keep up on it. And I see that, that the MTGA will, will be helping us for the future. As an independent grower, I don't think you'd keep up on that without them. Because of their business and the overall nature of Minnesota's turkey industry, their motto of turkey is family resonates through all they do. We are all, I guess, in the same boat. We, we, we got the same money out there on their pulse, our feed, our meds occasion, our litter. I mean, we're in control of that. And you want to talk to your family and, and ask them, you know, is this the right, am I doing the right thing? And you kind of, you can question other ones and they, you know, get, you get feedback back and forth to see where, where you're going.